Hi friends, this is Jitendra Bafna. In our last demo, we have seen the flow variable. Okay, and in this demo, we will going to see a session variable with mule swap. Okay, so what is the session variable? You know, basically, if you want to store any value, okay, and which and you need to access those value within the other flow, within the calling flow, okay, and within the sub flow, okay, you can use the session variable. Uh, okay, so session variable even you know like uh, pass through VMs also. Like, okay, VM. Now, why we want to store the value into the session variable? Basically, if you are getting some HTTP query parameter, okay, and you want to store those HTTP query parameter, uh, okay, because you want to access those query parameter within your flow, within the uh, other flow, within the sub flow. So you need to use the session variable. The scope of the session variable is within the flow, by within the calling flow, within the calling subflow, and within the other flow. Okay, uh, but there is one thing: it doesn't cross the trans HTTP transport. We will going to see those into this demo. We will cover all the scenarios in this demo. Let me start with new application file, new. project I will say session variable okay I will keep this setting as a default I will not going to change anything I will just check uh, what runtime is selected in my case I will select 3.8 version and I will simply click on finish okay the first thing I will drag and drop HTTP listener into the message into the canvas i will configure it i will click on add button i will kill, kill all the setting as a default settings i will say test okay and i will say method allowed equals to post or get anything we are just testing it and next thing we will use okay for storing the session variable you have to use the session variable component component look for session variable Okay, so you have to drag and drop session variable. You can set the session variable. I will say code again, and I want to read that code from the HTTP inbound property of the message inbound property HTTP query params. So in that case, I will write a mule exp expression to access that query parameter inbound dot properties dot HTTP query params dot code it's very simple to access that particular http query parameter now i will what i will do i will try to use a logger okay in logger i will write like code value what is the code value i will say there I will. now i will want to read the particular variable session variable so if you want to read the session variable so write session vars and dot the name of the variable that is code okay so first thing we will test this much of the thing let me run the application yes let Wait till application is run. Okay, the application has been deployed. Let me see like 801 test. I will say code 123. Okay, let me post this message. So it's our uh, query parameter is code equals to 123. It gives me a 200. Okay, let me check the code value. See, we have stored the code value. We have read the code value, right? Uh, in logger, what, have, what expression we have given? See, logger session variable. Okay, so in console, if you check, okay, you can able to access the code value one, two, three. Okay, now you know how to access a session variable within the same flow. Now, in other flow, there are various way. So first, we will say flow, and here I will put one logger. 
okay i will say here in the message i will say second flow i will say okay hash session words dot flow okay so but uh, now how you can access this flow so how you have to call that flow within the main flow so you have to use the flow reference okay so i will give a flow name that is the session variable f flow session variable f flow okay now i will save it let me check the console application has been saved i will say send okay we got a response c code variable 1 2 3 session second flow 1 2 3 so you now you know how to access the that particular session variable into the other flow into the calling flow now we will going to check how you can you use the session variable into the calling sub flow okay so again we have to use the flow reference we will drag and drop flow reference okay under the flow reference i have to give a flow name that is the our sub flow fine now i can use the logger i will drag and drop the logger into the logger i will say sub flow hash session wants dot code you can see right i will save it it will deploy the application again okay it has been deployed now i will send it you can see the 200 okay now you can see the like see code value 1 2 3 second flow value 1 2 3 and sub flow 1 2 3 so now you know like you can access how you can access your session variable into the calling flow okay what i will do i will remove this thing right now i don't require now i will keep this flow what i will do i will drag and drop http listener here i will configure it uh, go to http i have to change the port number here one minute i will edit it i don't want to edit i will edit again let me go i will change the port number for other flow it will it to let me check okay i will say path equals to test to i will say post okay now what i will do uh, let me call http request here okay under sti i will do the connector configuration so now from this flow i have to call the other flow using http so i will say host is local host what is our port we have you 8082 okay what is the path we have used we have used test to here okay so in method i will use again post okay now we have already logged there is this is the second flow session now you you want to check like whether it is possible to access the session variable using http request or listener you are going to check those thing let me save the application okay let me post the message okay, we got 200 okay okay see in second flow we got a null value so it is not possible to access the session variable over the http transport so what we can do so let me remove the http from here we can do use vm okay so i will drag and drop vm here okay i will use the queue path i will say test my queue connector configuration okay i will keep everything default okay here again i will going to drag and drop the vm into the message source region i will give the same queue path that is test okay i will say okay see if you see logger it's already there okay i will save the application okay i will test okay see code value 1 2 3 that is from main flow second flow 1 2 3 now 
you can access your session variable into the other flow using the VM. So basically, I will tell you why it doesn't the session variable doesn't cross the SCTP transport, but it is possible through VM. Okay, yeah, this is how you can store and access your session variable. Thanks for watching video.